Hey, don't worry. Spread your wings. Nothing is impossible. Believe. If I can do it, you can spread your wings. Nothing is impossible. What's up, YouTube family? It's a boy Jordan Vlogs, and in this video, I'll be showing you guys how to use a multimeter. Now, right here, I have a fluke and a radar shock. These are both clamp on. It is always good to have a clamp on meter. If you're in the electrical field or the HVAC field and you're going to purchase a, a meter, make sure to get the clamp on. Now, you have a lot of different brands. You have the Fluke, which is a good brand, and you also have the Feel Piece, which is also a good brand. Now, a multimeter is basically just used to check current, resistance, continuity, etc. I'll be going through the symbols right here with you guys. So, the first symbol that I have right here is voltage, and it can be used to measure alternating current and direct current. Now, direct current flows in one direction, and alternating current flows in many directions. So, AC would be what you have in your plugs at home. The next symbol right here that's ohms it checks resistance and it also checks continuity now continuity is basically just to just use to check if you have a breakage in the line if a line is open or if it's closed i'll be showing you guys that then you use this symbol to check like a capacitor now a capacitor would be what you find in a condenser etc so you use this to check capacitor a capacitor this symbol right here oh and capacitor is measured in microfarads don't forget that this symbol right here is a temperature symbol is used to check like temperature whether celsius or fahrenheit so i have my temperature probe right here i'll be showing you guys shortly i'll talk it up and everything that's alternating current again yeah, and I'll be showing you guys a lot more. Now, this right here, you can use it to, you can click on it, so it hold, it hold the reading, so it does the reading don't come off. Now, this right here is just a light, so you keep a light on in case you're working in a dark area, and you can see the reading. Now, guys, let's get into the fun part. Oops, this is what they use to check the voltage or whatsoever. Now, many of you don't really know the colors and what they mean and where they go, so I'm gonna be showing you that. Now on the multimeter, it has two different color. It has a, a red and it has a black. Now, the red is your positive probe. So this goes right here. And you have a black, which is your negative, it goes to the block. So I'll be, I'll be doing direct current first. So I have a 9 volt battery right here. I don't know if you guys can see. It says 9 volt right there. I'll be checking it to see if it's 9 volts. So let me show you what's up. So first thing you got to make sure that your meter is saying DC. Because when you're measuring voltage on these small batteries right here, you mainly use DC. So this battery right here, as you can see, it says 9 volts. So let's check if it's 9 volts. Marvelous. So that's a 9.4 volts, which is good. So this battery is good. It's perfect. If, if I was getting a reading below 9.4 volts, that means the battery is no good. So that's how you know. And quick thing before I test these two batches right here. If you want to switch between AC and DC, click, click this button right here. And you see AC, which when you're measuring batches, you don't really use AC. So AC is basically used for like your plugs at home and stuff like that, etc. Now let's test this battery right here. This battery, 
it's a Duracell it says 1.5 volts so I'm gonna put my positive to this side right here so the plus is always your positive side and the minus is your negative so that's a 1.4 volts which is good so this battery is perfect now let's, let's test this one right here same procedure so I'm getting 0 0.1 negative 0 0.1 volts 0 0.1 volts that's not good so this battery is useless and that's it for the battery side now I'm gonna move into the continuity section now continuity is basically used to test if your wire is open or if it's closed now if your wire is open say for example this wire right here was was um damaged like it like it has a split right here and i should measure continuity when i measure it on the meter it's going to tell me if the if the, there's um an opening in the wire or if the wire is closed if the circuit is closed so this wire right here let's test continuity now when you're testing continuity this right here this is continuity this is a sign for continuity so you're gonna move up here now the way to know if you have continuity in in your wires you could do this with your probes so that sound tells me that these probes right here are perfect because it is not open it's closed so it's good now let's test this wire right here for continuity fix the camera a little bit so one side to one side so guys that be better heard shortly tells me the wire is good it is closed otherwise if the wire was damaged and a test for continuity it's not going to give me no sound so say for example the wire right here was damaged and a wire inside of it is um, split it wouldn't give me any any sound so that's how you test continuity i'm going to be showing you guys how to know if it's bad by just stripping this um low voltage wire right here i'm gonna be showing you um when when the wire is bad yes, I'm, I'm gonna be stripping the wire i'm gonna be using a small one I'm using this small piece just for continuity but oh, this time is gonna be showing you guys when it's bad so I'm gonna be stripping it like that no, I'm gonna try something real quick. I'm gonna be kind of splitting it a little bit. All right. So let me show you how to know if it's bad now same procedure no reading and that is because as you can see right here the wire is split so that means the circuit is open 
so it, it is not gonna give me a, give me any sound so that's so you know if it's bad because the wire as you can see let me put the wire a bit closer they don't meet so the circuit is, is not complete so electricity cannot flow if it's not together if it's apart it's yeah guys so as it pertains to continuity that's it for continuity now i have my meter on ac this is alternating current so i have my probes inside the outlet so you know the black goes to the bigger side and the the, the red goes to the smaller side because the, the bigger the bigger spot right here the big hole right here is on um, the negative side the neutral and the smaller spot is the positive so always remember that so right here on my meter i'm getting 119 119.0 volts so that's good because the, the 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 plug the voltage on the plug is 120 so that's good if it was below that then then you know you have a voltage drop you know a low voltage drop so i mean that's that's how you check alternating current this is the basic start out with the plugs if i want to hold my reading this meter comes to a button that says hold i could actually hold it so even even if i take my probes out it's still gonna be there it's gonna be showing me the reading so i don't forget it so yeah that's that's um how you read alternating current yeah guys this is the last part of the video where i'll be showing you how to test for um ohms and a few diodes and stuff in a circuit now before i jump to that let me just explain to you what these diodes diodes do so diodes are basically semiconductors that that can be found in every circuit board now they play a specific role specific role they can be, they can be used as switches in a circuit or voltage regulators etc and um they basically just allow current to flow in one direction so you have two sides to a diode you have anode and you have the cathode anode is your positive side and the cathode is your negative side so that's just an extra um explanation you also have them in different types too like this one right here is your zener diode so your zener diode basically allows um current current to flow both in um forward and reverse you know but let's get right into the main point now i'm gonna be testing for ohms testing the ohms of um these diodes right here like a few or maybe even one now make sure your meter is on um ohms which is your little harsh symbol right here Let me show you what's up. So you're gonna put one probe to so one side. Test from one end to the other. So as you can see, I'm a multimeter. I'm getting 89.8 ohms from this diode right here. Um, so that's how you check for ohms on a circuit. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you have learned something. If you have any questions, please comment below. And I will definitely answer. But yeah guys. Thanks for watching this video as I said before. And um, peace out.